It's a known fact that the K-pop trainees go through a lot before they get the chance to debut. The competition is fierce, so they must do the most to stand out and secure a spot in debut groups, and all this demanding training takes a toll on their physical and mental health, leading to exhaustion and serious issues. The training conditions have gotten a lot better compared to second and first generations, but some things have remained mostly the same. So when TXT debuted as the junior group under Big Hit Entertainment, there were accusations of privilege. Being part of the same company as BT, TS, fans and the public believed that TXT would receive preferential treatment and a smooth journey into all the good things the industry had to offer. Brand deals, photo shoots, collaborations, and even awards. The assumption that TXT enjoyed privileges due to their association with BTS was, at first glance, reasonable, with many people believing that they were pampered and instantly achieved success. After all, BTS had achieved unprecedented success, propelling big hit to new heights within the K-pop industry. Thus, TXT were often often put in the shadow of their senior group, burdened with high expectations to replicate the success of BTS. This added a layer of stress and responsibility that was undoubtedly daunting for them, but this didn't matter to people. In their eyes, TXT would remain idols with golden spoons who didn't work as hard as others, and therefore weren't as deserving of their success. However, the harsh reality that emerged from a recent live stream from the members shattered these assumptions, raising questions about the treatment of TXT members and whether they were being silenced within the industry. Industry. On September 21st, Subin, Taehyun, and Hyunin Kai went live on Weverse and revealed some never-before-heard stories from their trainee days. While the members were mostly joking about their experiences, some of the incidents appeared quite distressing considering how young they were back then. Subin began by talking about how during the VMAs, he found some old 2017 photos of them as trainees. These pictures showed them fast asleep from exhaustion, and it made him feel a bit sad. Then they started sharing stories from their trainee days, each one of them more disturbing than the other. One of the stories they shared was about the diets they had to follow. It's not like we haven't heard stories about how idols would sneak out to eat food when companies would force diets on them, but this story that Supin recalled was pretty heartbreaking. During their trainee days, there was a time when they had to stick to a strict diet. Back then, there was just a single room without a CCTV camera, and he took advantage of that one day when he couldn't hold back his hunger. Subin said that as an impulsive decision, he made a quick run to a convenience store to grab some gimbap and drinks. Subin knew that if he were to eat his meal in the company, he'd get caught. So to stay under the radar, he chose the room without the CCTV, which had a window instead. While he was pretending to do his homework and sneakily enjoying his meal, he had an unexpected feeling that someone might be watching. When he turned around, he spotted a rookie development team member observing him. Subin went on, Back then, it wasn't even funny like it was when I was on focused diet training, and dieting was hard for me, so that moment literally gave me goosebumps. Just thinking about about the weight of constant surveillance and believing that you've discovered the only spot to savor a well-deserved meal only to realize that you're under observation there as well is heartbreaking. Unfortunately, it doesn't end there. Aside from the diets, it seems like the conditions in the dorms were horrible and it was incredibly dangerous to have people live there. Subin thought back on the time when the ventilator and the air conditioner were broken in the basement of their practice room, which had caused the water to leak in the floor. This led to literal mushrooms growing on the floor. The members had talked about this before in a previous live broadcast in March when Bolmgyu and Taehyun had shared a similar story about the old Big Hit building. They recounted discovering a large yellow mushroom protruding from the wall, which Taehyun initially mistook for a sponge due to its color, but soon recognized that it was a mushroom and promptly removed it. However, to their surprise, three days later, the mushroom had returned to the same spot. The humidity in the practice room would also cause the mirrors to get fogged up, so the members were forced to wipe them down with a newspaper. The only way of getting ventilation in the room was to open the windows, but leaving them open in the winter when they had been sweating was just an invitation for illness. Subin said, At that time, I kind of really hated the company. I hated our teachers, but when else would we be able to experience something like that? Believe it or not, mushrooms weren't the worst thing about the old Big Hit building. Taehyun revealed that there were also electric shock rooms in the building, which were hazardous on their own, and caused him to get hurt once. But there was also a broken extension cord in the dorms, and Taehyun made the mistake of grabbing it. He was electrocuted, and this would have ended tragically if the other trainees weren't there to help him. Taehyun expressed, I'm telling you, I'm still too scared to even touch just in case something happens again. It's absolutely horrifying to think how this could have ended just because Big Hit didn't replace a broken extension cord. If the lawsuit-worthy conditions of the building weren't enough of a burden on the members, the teachers in the company didn't make things even a little bit easier. Taehyun shared that during trainee evaluations, the teachers used to scold him for everything. If he were to practice a song, 
along differently from how he was supposed to, he'd get yelled at for going a different route. After the initial criticism, Taehyung copied it exactly the way it was, and instead of being praised, he was told, If you're going to copy the original song like this, people are just going to listen to that artist singing. Why would they listen to you? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. But this wasn't the worst of it. Supreme Boy, one of the biggest producers in Big Hit, used to tell Taehyung that he didn't understand why he was being called a main vocalist when his voice had no charm to it. Then the following month, Supreme Boy would tell him that his voice is really charming. Talk about whiplash. However, we can agree that there are much better ways to give feedback to someone that young. It seems like the teachers were really tough on them and gave them a lot of contradictory feedback, which didn't help them at all. These poor boys already went through so much, only to have a bunch of grown adults picking apart at their skills as a technique of making them better artists. Then there were the power dynamics. Not between the staff members and the trainees, but between the trainees themselves. Hyun and Kai recalled a story when he, Taehyun, and Subin were engrossed in their language homework in the dance room, while other trainees were deeply immersed in their dance practice outside the room. There was a small window in the room that allowed Kai to observe what the senior trainees were practicing. He noticed a specific move where they had to pull something and then come back. So in response, Kai spontaneously started dancing along. However, it appeared that the older trainees who were practicing outside had taken notice of his actions. Taehyun mentioned that they suddenly knocked on their door and requested them to come out. Subin added that they received some stern words as the older trainees misunderstood their intentions and thought that the members were making fun of them. The incident didn't unfortunately end there. Kai wasn't aware that the other seniors had been filming a video, so he was naturally taken aback by their reaction. The atmosphere then turned tense, and the older trainees responded by making them all do planks as a form of punishment. Everyone was already aware of the strict social hierarchy that existed between trainees in the same company, as everyone was competing for a spot in the group and saw each other as a rival. But until TXT spoke up about everything, it was unknown just how unsafe trainees felt among themselves. Hearing all the power tripping that took place in the practice rooms, with the members being punished for lighthearted jokes, makes us all wonder about everything that happened that we don't know about. Which makes us question a lot about things regarding Big Hit and their methods. Even BTS's Namjoon admits that the company tends to control at least, to some degree, what the idols say about their experiences as trainees. In an interview with El Pai, he was asked whether he thought the process of creating a group was inhumane. Namjoon responded by explaining that his company doesn't really appreciate how he answers this question, as he stated that he agrees with this to a certain extent, but reporters tend to frame his responses in a negative light. So what other things did TXT actually go through that we know nothing about? Mistreatment and neglect of this kind are wrong and should not become accepted as normal just because so many companies engage in such practices. When discussing the conditions that these trainees lived through just to debut, it's essential to strongly condemn the companies and executives responsible for these actions. These executives encouraged and, in some cases, participated in child endangerment, which is highly concerning. It's good that Big Hit have changed their ways now, but there still needs to be some serious investigations conducted about the entertainment companies. Nobody deserves to go through this. Share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!